folks, I'm Patrick Case. I'm the president of National Reader Board Supply. Today's video series is about the letter changer poll. It's going to be kind of fast paced because there's a good bit of information to cover on this poll, but also we want to make sure we cover everything we can to help make your life simpler, make your reader board work better for you. So the first thing about the letter changer poll is that if you don't have one, please get one because if you're using ladders or the bed of a pickup truck or you've got chairs stacked on top of each other, it's only a matter of time before someone falls and then you have, unfortunately, a workman's comp claim on your hands. They can be a headache, they're going to cost you money, it's not worth it. Get these, they're not expensive and they'll save somebody from getting hurt. Okay, so the value of the letter changer is they're extendable for one. These collars right here, you can see me spin these collars, you just tighten them down to hold them in place, loosen them up, just like you see here, you extend the poles out and you're in place, you tighten them back down again and you can extend your pole to its maximum length. I also want to show you that all the parts on these collars, every single part on this pole, individual pieces, we keep every single part so that in the event you need to replace any parts at all, we've got the individual pieces that you'll need. You don't have to replace a whole pole. You can just get the parts that are broken. Sometimes these will crack, sometimes these will crack, especially in cold weather. We're here to actually supply you with what you need. And we're talking about, I mean, they're, they're just a few dollars for these parts. The, the, the cup, I'm going to talk about the cup specifically. These cups come off and on with this wing nut right here. There's this tiny wing nut right here. I'm going to take it out of place, and then the cup just comes right off. When we ship these to you, the wing nut's in place, you've got a new eye bolt and a spring release. Now the cup is the, probably the most critical part of the sign, the sign system because these get old, damaged, and they won't get suction cup, and, and they won't get suction to the letters. And what happens is the kids are out there beating the signs harder and harder. They're bending and breaking the poles. They're beating a $1,000 to a $1,500 sign face with a $26 suction cup. Do yourself a favor. Keep your cups fresh every 18 to 24 months. Even the ratchets here, we have all the replacement parts. Any little piece you need, we have them all. So I'm going to put this back in place now. You just undo your wing nut. You slip the bolt right through the hole on the, on the ratchet on the pole, just like so. You get your angle about right, and you put your wing nut back in place. Spin it in place and tighten it down, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to show you about this, this, this spring right here. This is a suction release pole, a spring, suction release spring. I'm going to bring the pole back down to size to keep it in the frame a little better. And again, you just tighten these collars, you know, loosen them up, tighten them down, depending on how you want the pole to operate. This spring is designed so that once you've got the suction on the letter, you've got the cup suction, when you just twist the pole to the right, if you pull away from that spring, that spring just, that spring peaks up this corner right here and releases the pressure. Now this spring needs to be parallel with the suction cup. It can't, if the suction cup gets twisted like this, that won't hold the suction. It'll, it'll release the suctions too easy because it's pulling on the, on the suction cup at all times. Always be sure your spring sits right here. In fact, I'm talking to the manufacturer about how to increase the value of this by putting a set screw or even a drop of glue on the cup once you put it in place because you replace the whole head. So this won't be a problem in the future, hopefully, or we'll start making them ourselves. But there you go. It's that simple. You twist away from this. Or the old school way, if you really, the way I would like and do like, I bring a string up from the ground, run it through the eyelet right here, and then attach it to back here. And so that way I can just tug on this. By being able to pull on that spring, just the least little bit of pressure, and it just releases like, it's just nothing. It just drops right off. With just a teeny little bit of, just the teeniest pull on the string, and they'll release right off. So maybe next time, next video we shoot, I'll bring a bunch of string, tie it through here, run it through the hole, run it down to the ground so you can see what I'm talking about. The last tidbit I'm going to talk about is that when you're getting a pole, don't get one that's too short. If you're, and you managers, you're going to know because you're, you're standing out there, you've got your hands above your head, you're, you're trying to operate this, the pole, and it's, you, you, you feel like you're holding up the weight of the earth when your hands are working above your head. You want to be sure and get poles that are long enough. We've got 12 foot, 18 foot, and 24 foot. 18 is the most common, but a lot of times people will think, oh no, get me the 12 foot because it's like $9 cheaper. Don't, don't cheap the pole. It really causes you, it costs you a lot more because it takes the kids a lot longer to change the sign if the pole's too short. One, they're worn out because their hands are above their head. They're frustrated. Your pole needs to be long enough so that when it's extended, 
You can reach the sign and operate it standing a few feet away from the sign with about this angle on the cup and you want to be able to operate it with your hands down by your hips so that you can put your arms on your hips and rest it and that way you're operating from a position like this as opposed to above your head. You can do this all day long. You're supporting the weight. You can operate the sign, change the sign. It'll make things faster. The kids are taking 45 minutes, an hour to change the signs because the equipment's either not operating correctly or they're worn out from holding their hands above their head. Do yourself a favor, keep your letter changer in good shape, replace your cup about every 18 months to two years, and make sure your pole's long enough. It'll, be, it'll, pay, off, it'll pay off every single time. My name is Patrick Case. If, we, if you have any questions or we can be of any assistance, feel free to call us. Our number is 1-800-243-6676. That's 1-800-243-6676. We're here to help you make your sign make more money. Thanks. Thanks.